Hello there and welcome back to my channel. So here, um, today we're going to talk about sukas, smoky sukas specifically. Um, a lot of times you get bases on your map that are not friendly to the usual troops that you use. You know, sometimes you get bases that are not tank friendly if you are a tank, you know, a teammate player, or they're not hookah friendly or rifleman friendly. And when I mean friendly, I don't mean that they're impossible to take with the usual combination that you have. It's just that they are, that you're going to take a lot more casualties. Um, than you normally do um, if you go your usual route. Um, and usually when I get bases on my map that have um, a lot of ice, uh, shield generators, I, I usually tend to just load um, Sukas and just go Smoky Suka at those bases. Um, so last night, um, I had a lot more replays. Um, some of them just went away. I forgot this morning to, to do the recording um, before actually went attacking some NPC bases. But last night I was attacking my operation. I had some some boost left. I was fully boosted. So I went and um, loaded my Sukas again and I went against some of um, some bases with my Smoky Suka. So before we go and take a look at that, there's a couple things um, that I look in a base to see if I can do a Smoky Suka attack. Um, the first thing is whether or not the defenses on those buildings um, are clustered together where I can shock most of those key defenses with a single shock. Number two, if I'm going to spend too much GBE getting into position. Uh, and, and then number three, if I can take that base with my with the number of troops that I have available at that moment in, in between two and six seconds. Um, why two and six seconds? Because that means that um, the mortars can only fire once. The rocket launchers can only fire once. So once I survive that first barrage, then that that um, base should be down after they or before they go ahead and reload again. So so that's the first thing that I that I like to do when I'm doing smoke yasuka. The other thing is whether or not the landing is going to be contested or not. So I'm going to go and show you first a couple things about. Um, about landing so there are two landings that you need to 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 really dominate before you go ahead and start doing smoke and suki attack so the first one is the attack where you land do you a landed uh a staggered landing um so essentially that is a landing in which you flare to a corner and then you start doing one by one so as soon as the first boat gets out then you send the second one so you're always landing a boat in front of the sukas, in front of the leading group of pack of sukas, right? That what that makes is a nice tight packed group of sukas, which you can then manage really, really well. You can then go back, for example, you see, or you can go up, and that makes a really nice pack group of sukas. Um, so that's that's the first step of landing that that you need to master. Um, before you go ahead and, and, and start attempting um, smoky suka landings. The second type of, of landing that you need to, to practice, which is a little bit more advanced, is the same, is the same type of landing, it's a staggered suka landing. However, this time what you want to try to do, it's smoke it. Smoke your troops, because that means that when you're using this type of, of landing approach, uh, it means that your... Um, your landing is contested. You have a lot of rocket launchers or shock launchers protecting. So it's sort of the same thing. You go ahead and you, you send your smoke, your flare, you send your first smoke, right? And then on the corner of the smoke, then you land your first troop. You should have enough for four, and then you keep landing them. Now your last smoke is going to be for grouping, and then you go up just before they get out of the first of the of the last smoke and that's going to essentially help you keep them all tightly under the smoke and that first on that landing that i just did there um the first suka was not actually in the smoke uh, so you need to be you need to be careful um because let me because usually when you do this type of landing you're near a corner and that essentially forces that first suka boat to be right at the edge of the smoke. So let me try that again. All right, so I'm going to try it on this corner. So I'm going to go here. So remember, you have, and I'm going to waste all the smoke. So you have, you usually have three smokes. You have the initial smoke, 
two, and three. By the time you get to this third smoke, when your shukas are halfway in, then you're going to flare up and then cover them right there. Okay? They're going to start moving up, and that's going to be the point. So whenever the, the first group of sukas get to halfway the last smoke that you have laid, then that's where you're going to flare up. Okay, so let's take a look at that again. All right, so and you have to sort of imagine where this smoke is going to be. So here I go one, first smoke, right at the corner. You see another cover. One, two, three, four, smoke. One, two, three, four, smoke. Now, once the, 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 the sukas are in the middle, then you flare up. And there you go. All the sukas were inside the smoke all the time. Or some mines there. So all the sukas were on the smoke all the time. Now, sometimes this kind of landing um, it's a little bit it's a little bit harder to do. Now there's another type of landing that is a little bit more it's a little bit easier to do. Um, in terms of the easiness of landing your troops and making sure that they all stay under the smoke. Now it's a little bit harder because you have to use two fingers. <laughs> you have to use two fingers to land. And that's my that's a landing that I don't know what kind of name I want to call it. But let, let's call it is 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 a staggered suka landing to the middle. Let's just call it that. Let's call it that way. So it's a staggered suka landing to the middle. Um and here I have to sit down because I have to put the phone and I have to use both fingers. So it's sort of the same idea. However, this time you put a flare in the middle, you flare, you smoke either side, right? And I did those smokes too 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 far away. But you go and then And that's sort of the idea. Um, you you land towards the center and then you flare up. So let me let me do that again. So let me do that again. This time I want to make it a little bit a little bit more tighter. All right, so you flare, you flare to the, you flare to the middle, you smoke either side. Okay, that's a lot better. One, two, three, four, smoke, and then you flare up. So all your sugar should be nice and covered under the smoke. Now this type of landing works a lot better. This type of landing works a lot better if you have a building close to the edge of the, of the beach so that they don't start wandering around, right? So if when you have that, then the sukas are going to wait patiently in that middle, and then you can then flare up or flare to the right or to the left, wherever you need to go. All right, all that being said, those are the two basic or three basic landing approaches that I, that I, that I like using. Number one is just a stagger suka landing without cover and smoke because the landing is not contested like on this beach. And you can go ahead and take it. You can go ahead and take it. The other one is Stagersuka landing under smoke. And then the third one is the Stagersuka landing towards a center point. Once you master those three landing approaches, then you can go ahead and take any base you want with Sukas. Taking into consideration the points that I told you already about how easy a base is going to be to take. So let's take a look at a couple of bases that I took here. I had more last night, so I only have five. But no, no problem. And let me show you again the stats. So take into consideration what I have right here is without boost. So I think the last two attacks or the last attack was without the boost already expired. So it's showing what you see here. The other ones are going to be double this because I was fully boosted at the time. All right. All right. So let's, uh, let's take a look at. Um, sorry for all that movement. So let's take a look at the first attack. All right, so I went with 104 sukas, 20 of 20 of them died. Um, all right, so here, this this base ticked all the categories that I had. You know, like the shield, it had a shield generator, so it was sort of hard to take down, you know, if you were to use wires or something else. It had, it had prototype 
defenses, a doom cannon. Um, but you can see the key defenses that need to be shocked. Um, they can be shocked in in one. So I can shock in one those mach that machine gun shock launcher with one that machine gun and shock launcher two. And then if I wanted to, I think I could shock here on the top two. Um, and I would disable two rocket launchers in one. Now I don't remember this. I did this at night, so I don't remember if I what I what what I ended up shocking. But that is gonna be my spot. I'm opening that because that's going to be my spot. And you can see after I open that, I don't care about the sniper towers. I don't care about the, the cannons. Um, all about all I care is about that machine gun, flamethrower, shock launcher that are going to be able to hit me on either side of the base and the rocket launchers. All right, so here is that, 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 that Suka landing towards the middle. And you're going to see... The Sukas are not going to start wandering too much because there's a building right in the front. Once I let them get there, then I flare up to my to my position. I tag I I flare up to my building that I want. I think some Sukas are going to step out. They made their decision. They're there. don't freak out. Stick to your land. And then you see here, I I essentially send a critter pack, shot the buildings that I needed to be. Two shots, three shots, and the base is down. My Sukas, boosted Sukas, I believe they do 200 and, I want to say 220 something thousand damage per shot um, when they're fully boosted and you have a group of 104 Sukas. So that is a lot of firepower that's coming there. And you saw that HQ went down in six seconds. All right, so feeling cocky about this about this attack, I went ahead and, and went right away. So you saw I lost I lost 80, 20 sukas, so I had 84 sukas left, and I went right away into a base that was super hard. So I went with 84 sukas, I lost 57. But this base, guys, this base had a total of 850,000. 850,000 HP. It had a shield. It had, it had boosted health. It had some ice. So, I mean, it would do is crazy. So, here's my plan. My plan is to send an artillery shot to that position. Those two build, those two economy buildings are going to get destroyed. That's going to be my Suka spot. And then from there, I'm going to I'm gonna shock those four buildings right there. Key buildings that are going to damage my troops. Those four buildings are going to go. I'm going to shock this um, shock blaster and shock launcher. I am going to shock this rocket launcher right here. And then I'm going to send a critter pack to the middle. That's going to distract the other rocket launcher out of commission. So let's take a look. So play. Two artillery shots. Remember, I had 132 GB. I didn't mention that. I was fully boosted there too. So I had 132 GB. Clear the, the path of the mines. And here, the landing is not contested. So there's no reason. There's no reason whatsoever to smoke my troops in. And now I take my time making sure that those Sukas are all landing in a nice tight group. I let them naturally walk because I wasn't sure if there was any mines there. And you see, I landed, I send that flag right to the corner, right to the corner. That forces all my Sukas to just walk a thin line right next to the edge. They're not going to go a two line Suka approach. They're going to go in, in a nice single file. All right, so smoke is up, a flare is about to expire, but I don't want them spreading out yet. I'm going to let them get there. I, I send another flare. And now after I do that, then I flare to my final spot. And here I wasn't very careful. The sukas that I lost, I lost because of right there. That was a lot of sukas that I lost there. Um, so I, I cannot tell you exactly how many I lost, but I, I can tell you that it was more than I wanted to. Now you see, shock, shock. Now I send the critter pack at the end, right? Just when stuff is going to start getting out of stasis. And boom, with 84 sukas, I took down a base that had 850,000 HP. Um, and essentially, I think it took, it took me... Um, 10 seconds or 12 seconds or six shots in total. Um, so 
it, it's it's what I tell you guys. With Sukas, they have so much damage that you can pretty much get away of making a mistake. If you are in the right spot and you shock what you need to shock, you can take any, any, any base down. All right, let's take a look at a third attack. This one, I don't think it was boosted. I went with 74 Sukas. Um, I had only nine casualties, so I'm guessing there was there were there was no boost on this base. No, there wasn't. No eyes, no shield. So here again, I'm opening. <clears throat> I'm opening a spot for my Sukas. Um, I, I don't care about the cannon. Now I'm gonna clear the shock mine. That group of three mines. That mine right here in the corner. And with critters, I'm gonna destroy that pack of three mines. All right, that, all that being said, my path is clear. I should have no casualties here on this approach. Again, standard staggered Suka landing. Take your time. Land the first troop. When, I did it a little bit quicker than I wanted to. You should land your second boat once the first few Sukas arrive the position of where you want the other Sukas to, to, to land. I right, lost one. Lost one Suka there to a boom mine. No biggie, but again, you see me flaring to that corner. That makes a tight, nice path of Sukas walking in a single file. No double file. This one, because my Sukas are a little bit tighter, I'm able to then smoke to, my, to, to the final spot, flare to the spot, target the core, and then here we go. So, as you can imagine, I've told you many times, then you, you, you shock the key defenses, Use the critter to your advantage. You know you can take the HQ in a few seconds. So here is shock that flamethrower mortar, shock that mortar flamethrower machine gun combo, and shock this rocket launcher, um, that rocket launcher shock launcher combo. Now, what about these two other two things? Well, that's where critters come in. You're gonna send a pack of, you're gonna send shock critters. So you're gonna send your critters first and shock after right here. And that's gonna take care of that that's going to take care of that um, rocket launcher and shock launcher. So let's 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 take it slow here so we can appreciate the details. Now I send my critters when the clock is about 11 seconds. Or 11 min it, 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 um hour 11. So you see here I'm sending the critters. I'm shocking. Shock shock. I was a little bit late to the party. No biggie. HQ is even down before the, 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 the before my Sukas died of the of the flying tower. All right. So so that was the third attack. Let's take a look at this fifth attack. Again, I waited a few minutes to load a few more more more, more troops, and then I went in. This one, let's see, did he have eyes? Yes, it had it only it had only one damage. It had one damage and one health. Um, so the issue had a little bit more. But again, you can see this base checked all my requirements. In the sense that once I clear this spot right here, once I clear that spot where the where the rocket launcher and the mortar are, with just a few shocks, I can cover all the key defenses. There's no mortars behind me. Only, only single shot defenses. Um, so everything else is in the front. So I can go ahead and clear a nice path for my Sukas. See, clear, clearing those mines. And then go land there. And with three shocks and maybe a clear box, I, I don't remember exactly what I, what I threw in. You can make it to the spot and take this base in two or three shots. Again, not a contested landing. I double check the ranges. So there's nothing those defenses can do right now. I then flare in front of the machine gun and smoke them right before they start going up because that rocket launcher just has range at that point. All right, lost Asuka there. Lost some health because of that mine. No problem. It was, it was already considered into, into, the, into the equation before I landed. All right, now my Sukas are in position. The clock is running out. So let's see what I shocked. You can you can pretty much be sure that I shocked that shock launcher, shocked that shock launcher, rocket launcher combo, and shocked the, the shock blaster. But before, always send your critters first. 
I don't know why I didn't shock the shock blaster, but it doesn't matter. Two shots, I want to say, maybe three. In three, you know, so it's four to six seconds, this HQ went down. Like, it was not there. And you can see, you can take losses, but your Sukasa packs so much power that you can go ahead and attack a second base, even without being fully loaded. And you will be okay. So here, I, I landed 81 Sukas. I lost, um, I lost nine. So I have, what, 72 Sukas left. Now, a few more minutes passed between this attack and that attack. So I was fully loaded for this. Ice? Do you see ice? Do you see ice? Yes, he has a, he has one statue of the masterpiece. And I'm guessing he must have something else. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But there's one statue missing. He must have another ice lurking around somewhere because I don't see it. One. Two, three. So that's four in total. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's one missing. Oh, here it is. Here's the other one. So he has eyes. Um, not not the most amount of eyes that, that you have seen, but he does have eyes. Um, it wasn't boosted though. Now my spot is gonna be. He has a nice spot for me. Already open. I don't need to waste it. It's right there next to HQ. So you with one shock again. It takes all my categories. With one shock, I can shock Doom Cannon, Machine Gun. My Doom Cannon and Machine Guns. With another shock, I can shock Flamethrower, Machine Gun, Rocket Launcher, and Shock Launcher. And with the other one, I can shock... I can then shock here. Machine Gun, Machine Gun, Rocket Launcher, Shock Launcher, and Mortar. So I can disable most of his defenses with three shocks. And then the last Rocket Launcher, it's not going to be covered with shocks, but I can send Critters, and that's going to distract them for a bit. As... Um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? As long as you send the critters first before the smoke expire, that rocket launcher is going to keep aiming at those critters, um, giving you, you know, two or three seconds extra time to shoot at what you need to shoot and take it down. So let's take a look at what I did. Just clearing a path. Only need to clear your two mines, I believe. Again, not a contested landing, so I could go, I could, I could get away by just landing all my troops to a point. Remember, those, fl those flag at as a flare and then just smoke them up you know there was a mine right there unfortunate but i'll i'll heal them once they get up in fact i don't know if i even healed them i want to say i did because if not that would have been foolish yeah i did i did so here let me pause this slow it down Oh, I was crazy. I did not send my rocket, my critters first. So I lost a bunch of Sukas there. But that HQ went down in three shots, guys. Or two shots, actually. Two shots. And uh, how, how, how many did I lost? So I lost 41 Sukas on, on that attack, essentially because I did not send the critters first before shocking everything else. Therefore, the rocket launcher was aiming at my guys when the smoke's clear, it's essentially taking them down. I guess that's, that's what, I, what I have for you. I have some NPC bases that I did attack with Sukas this morning because that's what I had loaded. Um, I don't know if you're, if you're interested in that. I, I don't think so. Um, so I'll, I'll cut it here. I want to thank you for stopping by and watching uh, and, and watching the channel. Um, please smack that like that subscribe button that just appeared um, by clicking the icon that just appeared on the left side of the screen. Um, there are going to be a couple of videos that you might be interested in on the left side of the screen. And guys, take care and Sol is checking out.